everyone and welcome. I'm Shay and today's lesson is about fats and oils. Remember to follow me on Instagram at SavvyShay underscore TT. Subscribe, comment and like. Fats are found in animals as well as vegetable foods and they are the most concentrated energy foods. Most animal fats are solid or semi-solid at room temperature while vegetable fats are usually in liquid form and are called oils. Vegetable fats or oils are sometimes treated chemically to change them into solid form. For example, these are shortening and margarine. Fats are composed of the same chemical elements as carbohydrates, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, and are therefore a source of heat and energy. Apart from this function, fats are also important because they provide fatty acids, which are needed by body cells. They also act as carriers of the fat-soluble vitamins, Sources of fat in the diet are milk, cheese, eggs, fatty meat, oily fish, butter, margarine, shortening, avocado, and some cooking oils. Both fats and oils have many uses, including the following. 1. Spreading on bread using butter margarine or low-fat spreads 2. creaming for cakes using butter and margarine 3. shortening for pastry using lard and vegetable fat 4. frying deep and shallow using lard vegetable oil for deep frying also butter margarine for shallow frying 5. oiling baking tins any melted fat or oil can be used six salad dressings using vegetable oils and seven ice cream using vegetable oils next we will review a list for the functions of fat fat provides a convenient and concentrated source of energy supplying more energy than the same weight of carbohydrates or protein. Fat surrounds and protects certain vital organs such as your kidneys and glands. Fat forms an insulating layer beneath the skin to help preserve body heat and protect the skeleton and organs. Fat forms part of the structure of cell membranes throughout the body especially in the brain it also provides a source of the fat soluble vitamins ADEC, a d e and k fat provides a reserve of energy for long-term storage which can be used if energy intake is restricted fat provides texture and flavor in food and helps to make it palatable foods containing fat provide a feeling of fullness after a meal as fat digestion is slow foods containing fats and oil can develop an off flavor and an unpleasant odor this is due to the fat becoming rancid rancidity is caused by the action of the enzyme lipase or by oxidation Lipase breaks down the fat molecules and the off flavors and odors develop because of the free fatty acids in the food. Heat can destroy both lipase and the microorganisms in the food that produce lipase. In oxidation, oxygen is absorbed by the fat and reacts with the fat molecules to produce substances that give the fat an unpleasant flavor and odor. Oxidation is accelerated by light, impurities in fat, enzymes, and the presence of many 
polyunsaturated fatty acids. Antioxidants are added to foods containing fats and the foods may be packed in foil lined containers to prevent light from reaching them. Rancidity may develop in fat containing foods that are kept in cold storage or frozen. When fat is heated, it melts to oil. Then it heats up eventually until it ignites. That's why some fats can be heated to higher temperature than others and so it is more suitable for frying. Vegetable oils can generally be heated to higher temperatures because of their fatty acid content and their purity. Fats such as butter and margarine cannot be used for frying at high temperatures as they contain other substances such as water and emulsifiers which make them burn easily. When a fat is heated at a certain temperature, a thin bluish haze of smoke is given off which will give food an unpleasant flavor. This is the smoke point and at this temperature the fat molecules start to split up reducing the keeping qualities of the fat. Soon after this, the fat will ignite and burn fiercely. The temperature at which this occurs is called the flash point. The body can adapt most fatty acids found in food to suit its requirements. However, there are some fatty acids that the body needs but cannot make and these are known as EFA, essential fatty acids. These essential fatty acids are required in small amounts. Linoleic acid and linolenic acid fatty acids which are found mainly in plant oils. These are needed for the brain development of babies. Humans make special essential fatty acids from linolenic and linoleic acids in breast milk. This is one of the reasons why human breast milk is best for babies. Oily fish such as herrings, mackerel, sardines contain EFAs called omega-6 and omega-3. Omega-3 EFAs may help lower the blood cholesterol and help prevent blood clots. For this reason, it is recommended that people eat two portions of oily fish per week. Some oily fish products now mention omega-3 on their labels. Yeah. The increase in fat consumption has brought great concern for our health as it has been linked to the following diseases. High cholesterol levels have been linked to coronary heart disease, which most commonly affects the arteries in the heart. Heart disease is becoming the number one killer in adults. Lowering people's cholesterol can reduce their chances of experiencing serious health problems. Saturated fatty acids are commonly known to have a negative health impact as they lead to increased blood cholesterol levels at a higher risk of coronary heart disease. Recommendations therefore stress the importance of limiting the intake of saturated fatty acids. Researchers suspect that there is an association between dietary fat and certain cancers. However, no clear evidence has linked any specific type of fat with cancer incident. Obesity. Individuals who consume high fat diets regularly are likely to exceed their energy needs and gain weight, especially since fat contributes more than twice as many kilocalories per gram as protein or carbohydrates. It is important to note that not all fats are unhealthy. Polysaturated and monosaturated fats found in vegetable oils 
such as canola, olive, or peanut oil can lower blood cholesterol levels when substituted for saturated fats in the diet. Point to note, fats are solid at room temperature and oils are liquid. This is because they have different melted points due to the type of fatty acids they contain. In general, the more saturated fatty acids a fat contains, the more solid it will be. And the more unsaturated fatty acids is contained, the more liquid it will be at room temperature. Wow! Thank you so very much for watching. We have come to the end of the lesson for today. And do remember, every day you learn, you grow. So keep learning and you'll keep growing. Bye for now.